Hello and welcome or welcome back to Naropa City Zoo. I hope you all had a fantastic week and a good Easter weekend if that's something that you celebrate or at least got a little bit of extra time off this weekend. Um, today in this episode, our main task is going to be introducing the sun bear to our zoo. So I'm going to be adding the sun bear into bear burrow over here. I'm not 100% sure how yet. Um, I think it's going to be on this side just because we have nothing over here. Um, so that's going to be super fun. But we are also going to play around a little bit with the other features that we got in our update. So that includes changing up this water, um, checking out what the actual viewing looks like with clearer water, and taking a look at the billboards too. I want to see, I think I want to do a little bit of decorating inside of these buildings with the billboards, maybe put up a few menus and um, advertisements, that kind of thing. I think that'll be super fun. So um, we're also going to put our otters and our seals back into the habitats and see whether or not uh, the update also fixed... Oh boy, we should pause. <laughs> um, I'll fix that in a moment. Um, but yeah, we're going to see if the update fixed the underwater barrier issue and if not I, I still I want these guys to be in our zoo so if not I'm gonna do a whole bunch of work off camera to raise the terrain um, underneath this pathway and yeah have it so that I mean obviously they can't swim through terrain hopefully so we're gonna replace the barrier with actual terrain so they cannot go across habitats so yeah I think that's pretty much it for today I figure I might also off camera since um, I've got a little bit more time this weekend um, I might also expand the elephant habitat, like I think I talked about um, last episode. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it and check out these new water updates. Oh, uh, look at this. So the very first update uh, that I noticed, we have multiple select now. So I can select from our trade center. Um, can never do this before. You had to go like back and forth and actually <laughs> put them all in individually. But now we can select all three and just send them right to their habitat, which is super cool i love that um but a bug the first bug that i found <laughs> um, whenever i go to a habitat and want to see the animals and send them to the trade center i can't actually get to the bottom of this box like i, I can't scroll down it's like it's it's bigger than my screen so i can't if i select them i can't select the button down there that says send to a uh, trade center so i now have to go all the way into my animals <laughs> to uh Send them to the Trade Center, which is not great, but um, I suppose that's definitely something I think that's going to be fixed shortly. I'll, I'll look it up and see if somebody's already recorded it or not, but yeah, thought that was um, less than ideal, but oh well. All right, so we got our seals and our otters kind of wandering back into their habitats, um, but I wanted to check this out. So this is the new water controls. So essentially you can just click on a body of water. Um, it'll select the entire thing, and I have this as just one giant body of water. But um, yeah, you can see the cleanliness and all that, which is super cool. But uh, you can also now change the transparency. So by default it's 1.0, which I think is, this was pretty much what it looked like previously. Um, but yeah, you can increase it to make it totally clear, which I think is super cool. I don't want it. I mean, I mean, that's completely unrealistic, but oh God. Okay. Yeah. They're still escaping. I'm just going to pause it for now while we check this out because, um, yeah, we're going to need to, uh, yeah, here he is. Look at that. Yeah. We made it through the barrier again. Yeah. I'll, I'll fix that in a moment. Um, but anyway, let's emergency capture him. Go back to the water. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so transparency. Super cool. Um, we'll see. I'll do a little tour through this building too, but now we can see essentially what the difference is between a 1.0 and now we can make it way better. We can see how poorly I did of a job of decorating underwater here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think I want to make it totally clear. We can keep it a little bit realistic. Keep it at like a, you know, a 1. Uh, 1.5 looks good. We can see the feeder right there really well. Um, and yeah, I think that... I think that'll look good, especially once we can actually, you know, have our animals wandering around in here freely, which will happen shortly. Um, I will do that right away and then come back to this view again and we can watch them a little bit. But yeah, this is the inside of this building. I realized that, um, I had a comment, I realized that I never really showed the inside. Um, we've got some, you know, some rocks that I tried to fill this uh, barrier with. Um, <laughs> peeking through, I'm gonna have to get rid of all that. 
Uh, yeah, so this is the very bottom floor. We've just got a few vendors down here. Clearly nobody really wants to be down here, um, which is whatever. If they don't want to come all the way down here, they don't have to. We just kind of have this cool little reflective wall. This is all lit up at nighttime too, which um, I think looks kind of cool. But yeah, this is the middle floor. Uh, same thing, you can kind of get this like underwater, more upper view of the animals, which I think is probably a bit of a better view anyway. Um, you can still see them come and get their food from the fishing things. And a few more people are down here, but also not that many because we didn't have any animals here. <laughs> uh, some more shops and just this cute little green um, area there to fill out that part that I didn't, I would have been able to put a path on. Um, but yeah, same little feature wall on this side. Um, it lights up blue at nighttime, which looks kind of cool. And then top floor is pretty plain as well. Um, essentially, I figured this is probably going to be a pretty busy area. Um, I think the aquatic animals are quite, um, are quite popular. So I wanted to keep it fairly open so we don't get too crowded our entry areas get pretty darn crowded so i'm also gonna actually you know what maybe i'll try that right now i don't think it's magically gonna suddenly work um if i put this here but let's just maybe we'll see um so if i assign the gray seal yeah miss assigned species so what does it say it needs to be near the species <laughs> not inside the habitat inside the habitat doesn't count so yeah we can't have animal talks on there for these guys Maybe I'll, um, you know what, since I have to raise the land here anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make a little, I'll probably make it over here because that would make the most sense, but I'll make a little land outpost and we'll add, we'll add path to it and see if, not floating on the water, if it's actually like on the land, if that actually allows us to use the education talk points. I can also keep these balconies just because I think they're kind of cute um, for the guests to go and, and watch the animals from outside, but yeah, maybe the talk points will be here instead. Yeah, I don't know, let's see. Let's uh, fix this habitat and then we will take a look again. All right, here we are. So I raised the land up all the way across here. Uh, so these are now two totally separate bodies of water. Um, the barriers under here are null barriers, so it is totally blocked off by land. This better work. <laughs> I, I, if this doesn't, if they still manage to escape somehow, I'm giving up because the amount of effort, and I mean, this is my fault, I suppose, for how I built this thing, but seriously, the amount of effort that it takes to fix this body of water is nuts. Like I had to get rid of this entire path, this entire path. You can even see here, I haven't really gone back through and like properly fixed it back up yet, but because it, it, and it gets rid of all this water, like it's just, it's my bad for not separating it out, <laughs> but yeah, less than ideal. But yeah, I, I think I got pretty much everything back in order now. They haven't escaped yet. I've been kind of watching them a little bit here and they've been pretty good. So let's take a look inside. Um, actually, I don't think the, yeah, let's put this back up to 1.5 that we had kind of figured would be nice earlier. And then we'll go inside and take a look and see what we can see underwater. You can see the inside of this building at night too because I, I think it does look pretty cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. We can take a look maybe at the colors later, but um, do we have anything pressing? No, oh, all of our turtles are stressed for some reason. Okay, cool. Let's go under here. Oh yeah, this has filled up a lot since we have the animals in here now. <laughs> it was a little bit more barren last time, but yeah, look at that. Oh, I guess it's a little bit hard to see at night. Okay, we'll take a look again in the daylight. Um, but yeah, this is what the inside of this building looks like at night. If you were curious, it looks like I've got a rock here that I need to delete. <laughs> <laughs> coming through the wall. I'll fix that later. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Just, you know, kind of lit up like everything else. This one's clearly not lit up on that side, <laughs> but this side is lit up the same. Um, it does seem like not very many people are coming down here. Well, we have vendors, but oh well. I think that's fine. What are you guys watching? Can you see from here? Mm, I can't see anything. Okay, let's take another look through this underwater viewing once it's daylight. Oh, here he comes. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, how cute. Yeah, obviously it's still a little bit skewed through the glass, but I mean, I think that's just like the reflection effects and that kind of thing. Yeah, so far so good. Oh God, these are flamingos, right? Yeah, okay. Cool, that's fine. Oh, here he comes. Oh, I think to get the food there. Yeah, oh, look at that. He's Oh, it's 
an itty bitty one. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, look how much better it looks even like on the cam underwater. Yeah, I love that. That looks so good. So next thing that I want to look at is billboards, actually. Let's take a look at the billboards. Oh, actually, before we look at the billboards, this is something that I did as well. You can see they are, I think, gathering for the talk? When is the talk? December. Oh, it's only March. No, they're not gathering for the talk. But these do work now. So it is on land. This is land. Seems to work. Can't food throw, but that's totally fine. Um, if I made this land out a bit more, maybe they could, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. I don't care that much. Um, but yeah, they, it looks like they are all gathering here to take a look at our seals as well. Yeah, look at that. We can see them swimming a bit better underwater too. Perfect. I actually think I need to get a couple more seals too to max out their population, but it looks like we are getting, this is turning into a very popular area anyway. First place that I want to look at putting up a billboard is uh, this wall here. So I believe they are in construction, um, or no, sorry, facilities, viewing devices. That makes sense. Um, okay, so we have a whole bunch of options. So we have, uh, let me see, along the surface, perfect. We've got some really big ones. We've got, so, oh god, we've got, holy, okay, those are like billboard size. That's pretty cool. Um, but that's not what I want. <laughs> um, that's way too small, too small. Yeah, maybe something like that. Um, these ones, I don't love the dimensions of them. That one's the smallest, I think, and it's too big. So, oh no, actually something like this would be perfect. Lit or projection screen, interesting. Okay, well, let's try this one for now. We'll just add it right there. And do they have some default advertisements? Override texture. Okay. Okay, custom media. Okay, wait, I might have to... Okay, here we go. Okay, so these are the ones that they have. Um, they've got example ones that just tell you how to make them. Um, that's fine. And then they have actual brand ones as well. So we are at Hot Dog Squad. I wonder if, okay, so they have all of the, these actually don't look very good. <laughs> Why does that look so bad? Huh, interesting. Okay, oh, is it such bad welfare right now? Nobody, okay. Anyway, um, oh, tall, okay, I see. So you have to actually pick the ones that fit properly. Low res, high res, advertisements. Um, welcome. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> okay, all right, they've got some cool stuff here. So let's see, do they have, I don't think they have, ah, okay, so you can do all of the, all of those, that's cool. I don't think they have menus. Um, so those are all animals. Yeah, okay. I don't think they have menus for these places, so maybe that's something that I'll make. Um, I can make that pretty easily. I'll just, I don't know, it'll just be like a billboard, a static board um, that has all of that. Um, everything that they're selling. Just like a, yeah, kind of what you would expect to see. But maybe we'll also add, is there a not square? Chief Beef, Chief Beef, Cosmic Cow. Kobe. Is he good? So they don't even have anything for hot dog squad. I wonder if there's um I wonder if they have them for download somewhere. Maybe I'll take a look at that. Um but yeah. Overall I think what we're gonna need to do is use this wide large one because tall doesn't is getting stretched out, square doesn't really fit. Yeah, so we'll do we'll do the wide large, wide, medium, wide, small. We'll just do wide, large. Cool. All right. Well, that's something that I will work on. On the side, we'll get a little menu board up for each of these places. Maybe um, I'll see whether or not... I don't know. What else do we have? We have Missy Good, Pip Shot, 
water. We could do the chief beef add in this one. We've got a bit of extra wall space. Why not? <laughs> Throw a little, or maybe up here or something. A huge screen with a chief beef ad. Would that be awful or like awesome? <laughs> oh boy, let's pause. We've got too many things going on right now. Um, Indian peafowl. Let's just put you on contraceptives and move on. Okay. Mm Anyway, I want to try out this cheap beef ad, see what it looks like. Okay, so we need override texture. We want wide or video. Video brand cheap beef high resolution. <laughs> Look at that. We've got a nice uh, cheap beef ad happening inside of the cheap beef place. We can do the same thing actually for Missy Good because there is a Missy Good one as well. So let's just copy. Can I duplicate this guy? I can't. Okay. That's odd. Let's just grab another one. That was the 8 meter projection screen. I wonder what the difference between that one and lit is. Uh, let's try the Missy Good one in here. Video brand Missy Good Donuts high resolution. <laughs> Oops, I'm gonna miss the video. Okay, there we go, cool. So I think, I'm assuming these are quite similar to the uh, Planet Coaster ones, but... Yeah, I think that looks good. And then this is the one in Chief Beef. Okay, so we actually do want the lit up one because that's really hard to see. Okay, let's delete that and add the lit one instead. 8 meter lit. I also can't really see where I'm placing it, but we can change it later. Yeah, and let's go video, chief beef. Okay. There we go. I think that adds such a neat little dimension to it. It's so realistic, like you're gonna see advertisements like that all over the place, so I think that's kind of cool. I'll check out if there's one for Street Fox as well. I'll put the menu up on this side. And yeah, I actually like the billboards. I think it'll be super cool. I'm curious to see how some other people decide to use them, considering that you can make absolutely anything <laughs> and you can make them advertise anything as well, which is super cool. Um, it could be, I don't know, I'll have to look it up or I'll have to look up some inspiration, I think, for them. I'm thinking, you know, you could have like some advertisements around here for the animals that are, you know, way over there to kind of get them encouraged to go and check out, you know, the bear burrow or something, but maybe, um, or you could use them for custom maps and stuff too, right? I could have like a zoo map <laughs> that advertises certain places. I think that's, that could be super cool. But uh, yeah, if you have any ideas, just let me know. But I think that was all, those are the two things I wanted to check out from the new update. And then I think now we are just gonna dive into building this sun bear habitat. All right, and here we go. So I'm actually quite excited about, about this one. It's a very simple build and this habitat didn't turn out to be super large, but in all honesty, it, it does pass the requirements by quite a bit and I, I think it's plenty of space for them. I, I, I don't know. I, it's hard to tell exactly because it's laid out quite a bit different, but I think it's kind of similar along the lines of the black bear habitat, just kind of without all the water and um, all of that. But ultimately, I think it, it turned out quite nice. And most of this time lapse is going to be structuring the habitat. Like that was most of the time was basically getting it to fit in here. So basically what we're doing is making a little entryway here to a viewing area from inside of the building. Uh, so everybody who is in the building already looking at the bears, they can kind of walk out here and this is an outdoor one. Um, now that I think about it, it could be covered. Um, I might look into making a cute little like covering for it for the guests uh, for while they're viewing out here, but I didn't do that in this video. It's just kind of an idea now <laughs> that I'm uh, looking back at it. But yeah, we have a nice little kind of just a, a little ground level viewing area for them, really. It's a little bit different than the other bears because this one is not going to be from inside of a shelter. You're, they're basically going to have a view of the entire habitat. Um, the shelter for these uh, sun bears is underneath the pathways, um, underneath like the elevated pathway over to the right hand side of the screen there. 
So yeah, the, essentially you can't see into their private <laughs> um, like sheltered area for these guys, which I do think is a little bit better. I mean, I know they're, they're animals and like the quiet signs and the uh, one-way glass I think helps quite a bit for them to, you know, still feel sheltered when they're in their sheltered place, but I think them having an actual sheltered area also helps a bit with, you know, their stress levels and all of that too. So they will have kind of a sheltered private area over in the back, but for now, um, yeah, the viewing is just of the main part of the habitat here. But the pathway does, I did totally extend it out the back. I think there's going to be less people walking up at the top. Um, and I think already people do walk up there for the elephant elbow because that is the only way to get around to the bear building. <laughs> um, but so far, at least playing it a little bit, I didn't see a lot of people actually walking all the way along the edge at the top. So we'll have to see kind of how that integrates with the entire zoo once we kind of build out from here um, and build the rest of the zoo but overall i'm not too concerned i think just having that extra walking way even if people don't use it too much um there's no harm in having it so <laughs> yeah i basically for most of this it is just copying and pasting what we already had from our elephant habitat which made it so much easier i do remember this taking quite a long time to like get all of those edge pieces all perfect for the elephant habitat and basically here it was mostly just copy and paste apart from a few places here where you know I had to make the curves fit but it was so small it ended up being much quicker than I had expected it to be. Now something that I did want to ask while there isn't really too much to talk about happening in the actual time lapse uh, just kind of building the walls here was um what are some animals that you guys want to see in this zoo? So I do have a general zoo plan um but I was thinking, I mean, now that I'm getting, I, I love how much engagement I'm getting from you guys in the comments. So if there are some, you know, species that you really specifically think would fit really well in the zoo and like, you know, you want to see some, you know, maybe cool habitats for uh, these kind of modern style habitats, um, let me know in the comments below because I've already been kind of changing up my original plan quite a bit with the, uh, you know, new updates that have been happening since I first started making this zoo anyway. So yeah, I'm perfectly happy to, you know, make adjustments and put in the zoo what you guys actually want to see in here. So let me know what animals you want to see um, and, you know, maybe what kind of theme for the habitats too. If I know a lot, all of our animals have themed habitats, but I do find the themed ones quite fun as well, even though they take quite a bit more time. But, um, you know, like the flamingo waterfall habitat and the, uh, you know, even the aquatic animal habitat where we have those kind of like very seaside bay colorful buildings uh, going on there and then the you know grizzly habitat with the uh, like log cabin um, all of that kind of stuff let me know what you uh, what you want to see as well but yeah you can see here we've now put the sun bears in and I am just foliaging up <laughs> this habitat it um it actually is kind of cool they had a few I noticed in the um, habitat items. Now they have scratching trees, which I think are just trees that you can also get in the normal like nature tree or at least a cup like one of them was. But yeah, they're here specifically as like scratching trees and I did not catch them scratching on the tree yet, but maybe next episode I'll try to get a clip of it um, and throw it in there because I think that'd be super cute. But yeah, we got all the climbing structures going. They climb all up in there and uh, it's super fun to watch uh, to watch these guys. I just think they're uh, they're great. <laughs> I think they're adorable. Their movements are so fun. Um, I love that they how much they climb. Like the bigger bears, I don't know. I think the bigger bears do some climbing, right? Like they they need those kind of climbing structures, but not like these guys. <laughs> they're just so cute. But yeah, that actually pretty much completes the building of this habitat. Pretty straightforward. All right, and here we are. All of the uh, all the details have been added kind of around these areas. We'll go take a look. But here is our cute little sun bear habitat. Uh, there's our first one right over there. Actually, I think they should both be in the habitat already. Oh, look at him run. That's so cute. Let's see if we can't uh, see our other sun bear from here as well. Oh, where did he go? Did he climb up? Hmm, interesting. Okay. 
Well, let's get out of this uh, tented cam view and uh, take a look around a little bit. Oh yeah, there he is. He went right up to the very top. That's so cute. Okay, I didn't actually check their navigatable area, but I don't think there'd be anything anywhere that they'd be able to escape. Mm, yeah, no, this is perfectly fine. They're totally surrounded. Oh, there's our other one. Who's this? Oh, our male, yes. <laughs> I just think they're so adorable, aren't they? <laughs> Such cool bears. I love their claws. That's so cool. And I think they use the trees for scratching. There was like a couple of trees uh, marked as like scratching trees. And yeah, I think they do a lot of climbing. It'll be super cool to see how these guys go about. But oh yeah, everybody's watching him chew on his chew toy. <laughs> awesome. I love these cool little, like these new additions to the zoo. Every time there's a new animal in, they're always such like, they're always so cool. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this habitat, just kind of as an overview. So it connects back here. Uh, this will obviously go on to like further sections of the zoo. So right now it looks pretty plain, but it will be fixed up a little bit later on. And yeah, there's obviously they can, you know, walk all the way along here if they want from the elephant habitat. I don't expect this one. Oh, let's pause it. <laughs> I don't expect this area to get all that busy. Um, especially until we have like some place to actually go from here, but we have it here just in case. There's a few, a bunch, I guess, of uh, vending machines up here too, in case anybody gets parched along their journey. Um, it looks like the elephant one is still fairly, fairly crowded though. And yeah, this is what the new elephant habitat looks like. So expanded out all the way to the edge here. So they have a ton more space compared to what they had before. Um, quite a bit more water. The water's deeper. They can actually swim a bit more properly cute little bridge they can all walk all the way across and this is their little sheltered area um, which is enough shelter for them so no worries there and yeah here's a little like ground level viewing too if you come walk through here you can just watch the elephants right from ground level which I think gives a really nice view um, but better than only being able to see them from above before but you can still walk all the way up here and and get a really good view of the habitat from here as well so there are our new couple of additions. I didn't really, yeah, I didn't change anything else. We already went through all of that. But with everything that we have done today, I think that is about enough for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope, oh, I, I love these guys. I'm so excited to have a new, um, a new animal in the game and in our zoo. I think these guys are going to be such a good little addition <laughs> to our little bear collection over here. But yeah, as always, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, how can I make these videos better for you? Leave them down in the comment section below and I will talk to you in the next episode.